Hey there, welcome back to Garage Time. One of the last missing links uh, for my pedal assembly is this clutch cable. So I've got the accelerator cable connected, brakes are connected, and the clutch is just kind of dangling there without this cable. Now, if, you, if you've been watching for a while, you'll know my car is like a mismatch of all different years. So it was a little bit of a, uh, a guessing exercise on getting the right cable. And I didn't buy this new. This is from eBay. This is a new old stock cable. It's actually a genuine Porsche cable. So I think it's the right one. Uh, we're gonna make sure today that it fits. The cable end and the clip are from URO. So they, uh, these are new, but the cable is not. I'm gonna fish this in from the backside. Hopefully I can get it through. Just take the coupling off and uh, push it in. I put the pedal in place with the cable attached and I have it roped here or tied in its relaxed position or its sort of idle position. And then the cable is attached back there to its arm. So that's its normal driving position. And when I go under the car, I'm noticing that the cable appears too short. So here's where the cable ends up and it clearly is too short. It's not going to be able to go around this rest and into the hole. This is designed, I think this is the design for the other style clutch arm, which uses like a clevis uh, a fulcrum thing right here. And then the cable comes straight through, not around the corner. So appears to be a mismatch here. I can't make that cable any longer. It's already adjusted on the clevis side at the pedal. There's only a few threads poking through the, the clevis there at the pedal. So it's too short. Um, so let me know what you guys would do. Um, people that know these cars better than me, this is the first time I've ever done this. Uh, let me know if you think it's better to, you know, change the cable or change the arm. I think I remember the guy I bought the cable from said that his car was a 74. He thought the clutch cable broke, but what ended up breaking was there's a plastic little clevis pin pivot thing at the clutch arm, and that's what broke on his car, so he ended up not even changing the clutch cable. He changed the little plastic piece. He said, Don't go with the aluminum one, and it won't fail as quickly. And then the other thought was to just leave the arm that I have and go with, I guess it's an earlier cable that wraps around Clearly it's gotta be smaller uh, diameter to go through the hole and get around that, that, that portion of the arm. And then also it's gotta be longer. So if you have any experience on that, just let me know. I have a little bit of time. You know, I got another week or two of uh, engine work to do and clutch, uh, actual clutch work to do. So your feedback on that would definitely be appreciated. This was basically a day with nothing off the list. I think it's the first time. I do have time for one more thing. Few of you commented on my oil mount bracket uh, only having one bolt and suggested I add a second one just for redundancy, a little more strength.
I've added a little ear to the end and another bolt. I was trying not to put another hole in the car because this, this, this filter is only for the 912 engine, which is not permanent, but it is more secure and certainly more peace of mind with it that way. So that's done.